Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me here for your reading. So we're going to do a fun one today and just take a look at what people are noticing about you. So we're going to go ahead and see what people are noticing about my Aquariuses. This could be new, this could be old, uh, this could be online, whatever this is. We're going to go ahead and get a few opening messages and just see what spirit is kind of coming through as well as channeled messages. And then we'll go ahead and see what spirit wants us to kind of like uh, tap into more and un unravel especially if anything juicy comes up you know i'm gonna go ahead and uh clarify those for you so let's go ahead and see what my aquarius placements are being noticed for right now what are my aquarius placements being noticed for right now so please uh, tell me about my aquariuses yeah it's about um like your independence right now some of you are coming out of a codependent dynamic of some kind uh, whether this is like someone that you emotionally relied on physically financially whatever that is i was hearing my body my choice you know so it's like something about utilizing your free will there is a lot of you newly single here with the nine of coins too or you're just super self-sufficient and set, sitting in your own abundant energy okay but like as this is happening during the background uh people from your past that you could have uh, detached from uh when it comes to your involvement definitely up at night thinking about this you know they're definitely not sleeping very well i'm hearing um uh, tossing and turning we have the eight of wands oh so somebody could be noticing you as you're in this independent single like a pringle energy aquarius eight of wands could be about some kind of passionate new beginning some of you could be traveling solo maybe you're kind of just getting back out there in the world maybe there's this new perspective in life that you're gaining there's some kind of migration though and journey that you're going on independently during this time and as that's happening people could be f focusing on you i'm hearing all eyes are on you it could be on social media there with the eight of wands with the king of wands at the base so maybe you're really just taking back control of well not everyone deserves my energy it is a gift and i'm only going to grant certain people access towards that moving forward i know who aligns with my bigger vision and it looks like somebody also in the background with king of wands could be strong fire sign energy definitely takes notice of you and sees you in alignment with their bigger vision so they could be coming in with some kind of communication okay let's get one more yeah, Page of Swords, someone is online, uh, onlining. Someone is <laughs> observing you online, uh, especially with the Sun card and the Page of Swords. You know, some of you, this could be someone from your past in some way here, and they could be taking notes on how you've kind of taken control back over your life, your purpose, destiny, and fate. Uh, Page of Swords could also, again, be somebody observing you online. We have two social media cards, so that could be significant for you there, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and clarify these and see if we can get any more insight um if it is someone from your past they are thinking about kind of reaching back out to you here and coming in with some kind of communication they may not think this through all the way a lot of you i do feel like this is someone new though so let's go ahead and clarify this yeah we have the nine of coins we have the seven of wands here so you guys have blocked somebody out of your energy and they are not feeling very good about it you listen to your intuition here aquarius you know we have the high priestess like somebody knows that they can play you here you know again this is almost like high priestesses coming in and they're saying access denied access denied nine of coins your intuition did not allow this person to play you you know um high priestess doesn't mess around here with the underlying reason it's like your spirit guides your angels everything in the invisible and the visible realms is pointing towards you blocking somebody and ever since you've blocked them you know again they definitely been up tossing and turning with knight of swords this is somebody in distress okay let's go ahead and take a look at eight of wands it looks like spirit's picking up an old person so it looks like this is what somebody is noticing about you uh we have the ace of coins again they are thinking about reaching out to you and offering you some kind of new beginning i would just say be wary of this because it's come out kind of flipped um it could be an illusion of stability right but they're still underlying root issues that need to be resolved and i feel like they can't really resolve it within themselves okay i feel like 
you may not see this person as a like-minded individual they can see you reigniting the flame and passion within yourself and moving towards the vision that you have in, in for yourself in your life and they could be coming in giving like a false offer of stability okay and uh that could be something that they wanted to communicate to you but again i say it's false because there is no underlined aligned values they could just be an illusion of such with the world card again somebody could be observing you from a distance some of you are traveling here aquarius with whatever this is five of cups somebody's just in deep regret disappointment feeling like a failure about how a situation went out especially as you've closed out a cycle with a page of swords here as well so a lot of you this is a past person let's go ahead and get another spread for you guys i'm just reading the energy whatever comes out you know you guys probably saw from one of the last reads i was like I don't know if I'm going to do these readings again, you know, because they're really heavy energetically. But at the same time, I still do it because I know that you guys need to hear it. Whoever's guided to the messages anyway. So let's go ahead and it wouldn't have come out if you guys didn't. So let's go ahead and see what else is coming out for you guys. What is Aquarius being noticed for? We have the magician. What are you manifesting? You're manifesting a life that's in preferences with your desires and and uh, in alignment with your desires and preferences. Seven of Wands, again, a lot of you have manifested like a ending, like a um, literally a block, like maybe energetically blocking somebody access to you, you know, someone that could have been consistently inconsistent in some way with the Two of Coins, especially if this was a love situation of some kind because we have the Two of Cups hiding behind that. Again, I love you manifested this. Like, somebody didn't expect you. It's like, again, as we said in the last reading, um, why the fuck did you block me, Aquarius? You know? Strong block energy. Strong, I no longer grant you access to me energy. And they see you get, getting on with your life. I'm hearing all jolly, like, manifesting the life that you want for yourself. You have the chariot. It's like, maybe your he heart needed a little bit more time initially. Checks up what your head already knew about somebody. But now that it does, like, there's no more looking back at the past unless you're admiring how far it is that you've come. Again, siren energy of the queen of wands and the hanged man. Again, like, you are really using time as a tool during this time rather than seeing it as an obstacle. Uh, your soul is not in a rush for this next stage in your life. A lot of you are having, like, this slow, steady progress, but also knowing that it's still progress, even if it is, like, slow, because you are, you're so passionate about this vision that you're just pretty much surrendering and letting go and following your heart's desires. And as you do that, the universe begins to show the way to you, okay? The way begins to unfold once you walk the way. The three of uh, coins, definitely, there's some kind of level up that you guys are going through during this time. And again, Chariot, some of you could be making super big moves. Cardinal energy signed to you with Cancerian uh, energy. So it's almost like you're really just taking this uh, leadership of your own emotions during this time. And you're realizing what could be affecting that. The Chariot is also somebody that knows they can't control the external factors around them. What people may say, think, or how they could feel about them. They can't control the waves of the ocean, but they can damn sure learn how to ride those waves. Okay, so this is about you responding appropriately instead of reacting. Maybe somebody's no longer getting that reaction out of you okay especially with queen of wands now we have four of cups and eight of coins so there definitely is something that you're working on and you feel like you're proactively building the future that you want for yourself some of you there's some kind of development that's kind of going on this could be a talent gift skill or ability uh four of cups is definitely you guys uh really focusing on where you want to take this okay let's go ahead and clarify this yeah, we have the magician. There could be something that you're trying to manifest. Some of you could be to do with your career. There's something that you're moderating right now. Like you could be shaking up the algorithm in some aspect of your life. Yeah, we have the page of wands and the six of cups. A lot of you, this is a new chapter in your life. And you're really just in a place where you're very optimistic about what the future has in store for you. You actually could have an abundance of options or opportunities available. You, you, I feel like you have the say so, you have the pick. Some of you, it is new suitors. Um, some of you, there's options there, but it's just like, you know, you're not really in an energy to settle right now. 
Let's go and close this reading out with a universal message. Especially if somebody kind of comes in from the past in some way with Six of Cups. All right, we have Jacob's Ladder. So again, this is a potential to connect to heaven from a remote place. This is basically um, what people are noticing about you is you being led to a place of loneliness. Not, not that you're lonely, but solitude, okay? Knowing that when you're alone, you're never really alone because your guides are all around you and your angels are all around you. Jacob's Ladder is about um, spirit leading you to a place where you can maintain some kind of holiness and strong connection to your spirit guides. And this is to ensure that you don't like become a fallen angel where you start to decide uh like to choose a path that feels like it's not in alignment with your values and that like creating some kind of temptation just because it's familiar okay because this is about rebelling from god and being cast out of heaven because you're falling for a temptation knocking at your door and jacob's ladder is about spirit kind of putting you in a place where you need to keep those boundaries because what it took for you guys to get free aquarius is going to be different from what it takes to stay free staying free is moving from devil energy use utilizing radical free will stepping into the lovers and realizing that you have a higher octave right now that you're experiencing life freedom from stagnation but that means that you have to continue to choose yourself again and again and uh, part of this is knowing that there's certain things that could lead to stagnation if you were to go back to the past that's why you're being told to not look back and don't stop don't stop and don't look back under any circumstances okay and need forward with love so that you don't carry around the burden for god in your own heart okay um because you don't want to become like those who have hurt you okay and again this is mastering the fact that you can't control what people are going to say think or feel about you especially when it comes to this new chapter of your life you're only going to be able to master how you choose to respond to this and a lot of you it's really focusing on like creation and just playing with life again and not being naive with six of cups but just choosing to be optimistic and even though a lot of these circumstances weren't good you're still able to see the good in them okay so yeah i wish you the very best of luck aquarius hopefully you enjoyed this reading hopefully brought you any clarification or insight that you needed to hear right now take a look at your other Korean readings on my second channel that's going to be linked in the description box down below personal reads also down below if you haven't already subscribed to this channel or want to stick around for future reads do consider subscribing but until next time aquarius bye